Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm a little bit bummed because uh, we kind of have a little bit of a sit back on the E30 project. We're nearly there but as you guys know the last, usually the last 20 to 30 percent of, of doing a project takes the longest of time. But uh, enough speaking, let me just show you what I'm speaking about. Okay so we already sanded it down, you guys will see that footage now uh, after this. We had a sit back here, got that one sorted, uh, this wasn't like laying liquor, it wasn't flush for me, so I corrected that, so that's not the issue, the issue that we're having is over here, uh, yesterday, I don't think it's gonna show up on camera, I don't think it's gonna show up on camera, but what, what happened was, the bonnet, was over here right and I messed up but you guys will see in the video right now it's not so on camera but here is a tent over here and over here as well um I'm indeed pushed it out a little bit from behind but it's not as bad as, as what it looked yesterday but you know, I'm a little bummed because you, you guys know I straightened this bonnet out straight straight and I was super happy about it and now we have a setback, so we're going to have to redo it.
question how that you guys saw what the cause was <laughs> the bucket was actually on on there and the weight of the water created uh, the dents in there so please do not make that mistake i made it for you not to do it <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna get masking up right now and then i'm gonna get the stuff sprayed It's complete spraying it. Um, I'm actually put in a rush because I need to still leave for work. But it turned out amazing in my opinion. I just need to remove uh, the masking up. But it looks good. You guys can see that part is flush now. <laughs> the bonnet is a bit of a, a, bit of a problem but like the, the loose point that was on here is like falling onto the don't worry about this we're gonna uh, put like a sponge or glue sponge there on the road uh, also respray the mirrors as I said before I wasn't happy with it but it looks good now so yeah that I, I'm gonna be off to work I'll catch you guys now so guys I just arrived home now and washed everything and look how it turned out I hope the camera is gonna do it justice but I even left the, um, the stickers on there just to keep a bit of originality. don't know where you get the... I know the shell, these stickers, where you can um, just paste the original sticker again back. We don't know where to find them, so I just masked it up. There as well. And the plate. But look at that. There's the tray as well. Sorry for my finger.
I think it turned out great. So all that left, that is now left to do is obviously to put the bonnet again back and um, sand the entire car down and then we're gonna have to polish it, assemble the car, fit the engine and yeah. <laughs> okay you guys, I'm about to just um, wet sand the car right now and as you guys can see I already started on the boot right there, kind of cheated and you guys can see the orange peel on the sides, that's the comparison between, between the two. But I just want to show you guys more or less like what to do when you do your own vehicle. But that's more or less what you want to look look at. And you guys can clearly see the comparison between the, the two textures. So what you want to do is you want to just grab a soapy water uh, and a rubber block. One like that. And the same paper that I'm using is this over here which is 1200 grit and the 2000 grit you want to finish it off with that but i'll give you guys a demonstration now and i'll show you what to do okay so what i like doing is i grab my sheet of 1200 grit and then i fold it in half the first uh, uh, third of the of the paper and then i flip it around and then i'll do the same with the other side take the third of it fold it into into the half line of that one as well and by that you will have three sections and then I will tear my um like a section out and I will do exact same with this piece of paper right here as well. Fold it into three and I'll explain to you guys now why I do that. So you can actually use this thrice. So you use it on that side and then use it on that on this side right here. Then you will turn that over and then we'll use that as well. Uh your paper will last a lot longer like that. You do the same with the 2000 as well. So what I like doing is, is to have both handy, my 1200 grit and my 2000 and I just dump it in there and then I grab my block and I'll just wipe down the panel just to um, get rid of any debris because you do not want any um, scratches or anything like that. Whenever you hear a squeaking noise, stop immediately, wipe your panel down again and then get sanding. So what you want to do is you want to grab your block and then uh, with your 1200 grit and then just sand in the a crisscross pattern or you can sand it anyway I think <laughs> because I just sand it in the directions of the contours of the of the panel and then you use your rubber block like that to get the wetness off and then you have to do your checks and I'll try at my best to show you uh, what I'm trying to achieve right here because the lighting is pretty bad but um, we actually just want to get rid of any orange peel and as you guys can see I'm trying to get the best angle here for you guys and it clearly sucks to get it but you can see the comparison between the two um, so yeah just get rid of any orange peel your panel should lay flat it should look like like flat as possible and um, yeah and then just continue on till you get the uh, desired results and then you can get polishing Certain sections of the panel you um, are allowed to use your hand. Uh, just be very careful with the edges because it's, it's prone to uh, like sand through or sand it open. Um, and I just interlocked it with my fingers right there, the same paper, just to hold it firm. And then I do my checks. And I always like um, try to like glance on the angle, which you guys will see now. And um, just take your time, do not rush it because you do not want to sand through. Because if you sand through, you're going to have to spray the panel over and that will be, it will kind of suck. So as you guys can see here, I step down just to look on the angle and um, white is a pretty hard color to examine, uh, especially when you're looking at for the orange peel. But uh, just step down, look on the angles and uh, work in the shaded area. As you guys can see, here, I'm like 50-50 the sun and, and uh, shade, but you want to work in the shaded area because you will be able to examine your panel much better. That's just a tip for you guys. I mean, the guys know I like to um, share my tips and tricks with you guys. So yeah, just take your time. I'm gonna do this panel now uh, entirely, and then um, 
dull entire car after that and then you guys will see uh, the polishing process just a bit of it and then we're going to continue on with the with the process So if you're wondering how do I apply my sandpaper to the block is I just fold it like that right there using my fingers interlocking it and that's how I apply my, my sandpaper to the block and it's it works for me. You guys can maybe uh, find a different method but that, that's what works for me. Okay, so yeah, you can have a better view because the sun has gone down a bit, so now the air is a bit more shaded. So, as you guys can see, if you step on the angle, you can see there's no orange peel whatsoever. Whereas here will be your orange peel. I don't know, I'm just doing now. So, yeah, that's what you want to look for. Just do take your time and then uh, run it with a 2000 grit and then. You're good to go with this panel and then I uh, just have to do the entire car after that. So yeah, there you can clearly see orange peel, no orange peel. Okay, so now that uh, when you completed sanding it down with the 2000 grit, this is what it should look like. And then um, you want to have your, your polish machine ready. I'm old school, so I use uh, the woolen mop, but you do get uh, various types of mops so it's personal preference but I would suggest to use rather a sponge mop if you have a black vehicle but that's good enough for me um, this though do you uh, leave a lot of swirl marks so I would suggest using the sponge mop but for now it's, it should do because that's all that I have now and I have various polishes right here but this is my go-to is the L100 polish because this one cut in like into the um into the sanding scratches so then I first use this then I run it with this because I have this right here on the end P11 polishing cream and then I finish off with the strata polish this is very famous infamous but that's how that's how I roll and you always wanna have a rag ready your water bottle with just with normal water in there masking tape the masking tape is for your beadings because it will leave like the, the, the black residue onto you and you do, want, do not want that. So any loose um, beadings and stuff like that there you want to remove because your polish machine will grab it off and you don't want that to will break it off actually. So yeah, I'm going to show you quickly just how to polish this section right here and I'm going to polish the entire core. You get excited? getting the Okay, so right here is the L100 polish that I'm starting off with and I just dab it onto the panel and spread it out evenly, kind of evenly. Um, but just don't use too much. You just want to use a little bit at a time and then, um, yeah, I'm just leaving some raw footage in here. <laughs> and my dad is actually handing us a little bit of a coffee break right there. So yeah, we're going to have a coffee now and then we're going to continue on. So another tip for you guys, always make sure to adjust your speed on the speed control. As you guys can see here, that thing was way too far, so I put it down a bit. And um, you do not also want it too fast and you do not want it too slow. If you have it too fast, you will burn the paint. If you have it too slow, it won't polish up as good as it should. Um, and apply light uh, amounts of polish onto the panel. You can always apply again. Um, I always do it thrice. You can use one polish though. I haven't mentioned uh, that earlier. You can use, just go to one specific polish. I prefer using L100 polish, but there's various of polishes out there. So you guys can try out um, which works for you.
head I go from living to dead You got me seeing all red Now I'm becoming a threat I fucking heard what you said I'll make you have some regrets And no, I never forget So now you have a few deaths That shit, it needs to be paid With blood or some sort of pain You caused a permanent stain Which has determined your fate I've never seen so clear I feel the end and it's near The day of reckoning's here The sound of death and in fear Oh uh. So that's what it looks like when you, that was another second coat of using EL100 and what I like to do is I just run over with my rag, swipe it down a bit. The reason why I'm doing it, I don't think it's going to show up, but there's like a little bit of ice. You just want to wipe that completely away and then, um, then I'm going to run it with the, the P11 and then lastly with the Strata. That. I'm gonna finish it off with that. So yeah, I'm gonna get doing that now and then the entire car and then you guys will see the end result. So yeah, this panel is now completely done. You want to see this car is shining. <laughs> um yeah, so I just fitted now this. Uh I don't know what is this thing called. I just fitted that. And the reason why I keep taking it off is because when you're polishing the roof, the polish machine tends to, to grab on you and it will break this thing completely out so yeah i just wanted to show you that i actually polished the car i still need to do the, the two doors and the fender but the rest of the car and the roof i still need to do but the rest of the car is, is done i actually polished the lights also somewhat here you can see it is raining a super wet hill <laughs> i mean it's busy the inside Assembling. <laughs> this is probably gonna scare me if we see, we see this video, but yeah. Came out nice. The bonnet is still dense here, but it's not showing on camera. But we're gonna fix it on another time. Gonna do it properly. But it's getting there. Slowly but surely. People say you must say hello there. Um. Hi.
Alright guys, so I had to mask up the entire car again for the final time um, because I need to spray that black over there under the arches the window frames or the window trim needs to be sprayed black as well same on the other side and the loose bits as the bumper booster you want sprayed the wipers and all this the grill and stuff like that small details I think I'm going to spray that black as well Still a lot to do <laughs> It's kind of taking a toll on me because So close but yet so far The front bumper We have two front bumpers right here But now This one is broken on the corner as you guys can see And this one is broken on that side like completely But what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to um, cut this one split it, uh, split it there Split that one and try to join the two and make it into one. So that's the plan. Still a lot to do, but I'm gonna do that and then you guys will see the complete, complete end result when I'm done. So yeah, let's go. Guys, okay, so I just wanted to show you very briefly because I know this video is already way too long. Um, so as you guys can see, uh, this section was on there and I split it. In, split it. So I took the part that was. Or right on this one and I fit it over to there I just mend it with this mesh wire over here so you guys can see the split uh, so I still need to like um, put fiber glass in there and then finish it off nicely with the, the body filler and stuff the beadings as well so you guys can see uh, that part was completely gone so I just um, use masking tape as a template and then I'm gonna fiber gloss it that one there as well so I'm gonna show you guys when the the final product <laughs> when it's onto the core. So yeah, let's go. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago probably see you I took my tooth uh, I will be pulling my teeth so next time when you see me on a video I will have like a, I don't know what to call it like an old man's mouth <laughs> I don't know but uh, yeah so as you guys just saw now that Armin was like celebrating that the car was home but it was so unexpected man like he was like doing donuts there in that in that narrow road and um I couldn't capture it because I didn't know that, that he was going to do that and I was struggling like to get the, the phone out, out of my pocket it was my supposed like stuck because I had like a zip uh, type of uh, pocket with a zip on and as I got it out I just managed to get that lost but, uh, but it, 
it was cool though but yeah it's just so i just got that small clip in there um if you watch this for i just want to thank you so much and and to the subscribers though we are on, currently on 500 plus subscribers i'm super thankful for each and every one of you i appreciate it really um so we can only go up from here and i just want to apologize i, I know i'm not as consistent with the uploads it's just you know, i'm super busy i'm like i have a lot going on but um i don't want to quote to youtube this is something that i wanted to do as i've mentioned in the past so i will be doing it it's just the uploads won't be as consistent as as um, i promised in the past but um yeah i'm gonna continue on with this so next we're going to we still need to fit the engine though put in the engine the exhaust still need to be fitted and yeah i'll show you guys the complete journey with that car but the body is now completed it looks super nice so small cosmetics uh, stuff that still needs to be, needs to be done and hopefully my car will also be next so yeah i just want to thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye